living at the port port probably I don't have to tell everyone you can ask me later on it's just unimaginable it's just a torture it just forces you from six o'clock in the morning until midnight you build the dam you build the modern rice field you work very hard they give you so little food to eat especially when the rainy season the time that you have to work very hard to implant the, the, the rice that the time they give you so little of rice, a porridge that's a, so many, a, a little bit of grain of rice only in the porridge. And they force us to work very, very hard. We always enjoy to joke at each other as well. Sometimes we don't dare to talk. Some whoever try to complain about the regime or talk or try to talk to each other about the past, if the Pol Pot soldiers or Pol Pot spies, HP the young one, 10, 12, 11, 12 years old, they were very good. They were wandering close by, they was in the bush, they listened to us very carefully. If you talk something about the past, they're going to take you. They, they, they was going to take you to execute. The That time we tend to joke at each other. Look at your knee. Your knee is so big, bigger than your thigh. We laugh sometimes because we don't know what to say. And also we say, hey, all of you have a coconut bump. Have you seen a coconut shell with a bump very sharp? And sometimes we ask you, come on, don't sit down, please. You say, I can't sit because my bump so hurt because I have a coconut bump. <laughs> we just have sense of humor sometimes because of we have no choice, it's a simple term. Throughout those four years, they sent me to dig the canal and to, to list up the all sort of work that I've been through. But what I would like to share with you is one time they sent me to a battlefield, a bat the, 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 the place that used to be a very hot spot. It means a, a very fierce battlefield. They sent us to make a rice, what we call a modern rice field. We didn't realize that that's a very, very hot spot because a lot of bomb and grenade and whatever is still under the ground. That time is just probably luck as well or probably God helped me in some way. A lot of people get killed because when we dig the soil with the sharp fall and so on, with the, it, the, bomb, the bomb just blow. Know, exploded and killed so many pe young people as well. Because we, at that time, we, they called us as a mobile team. But there's a, always there's a good story as well in during Pol Pot regime. In one state, they said, okay, now we need someone that has a skill in fishing, growing vegetable, and also the most important can row the boat. For me, I was very desperate that time because I'm very, very exhausted and skinny and unwell. I put my hands up. I said, I'm a good one to do that sort of job in the Tundesa. Tundesa, it means that the place where is a lot of fertile soil, especially on the dry season when the water is <coughs> received, is a lot of fertile soil. But actually, I told lie to the leaders. When I went to Tolisa, the leader started to give to, to, to say something to, about me as well. They said, hey, some people didn't tell the truth to Ankar, or Ankar, I mean the organization. These people shouldn't say that sort of thing. But to me, because they didn't want to execute me, because during Pol Pot regime, that ran about two years in Pol Pot, I'm a person that I was obedient person. I always work very hard. I never show any sign of obe uh, or rebellion or anything at all. But by doing, by, 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 by saying that I had this sort of skill, the previous, the past memory that I used to learn from the farmer, I used to have friends or cousins in the countryside that give me a, 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 a flesh memory that I could do a lot of things. But the most, the, the hard part is when I jump into the boat, some people are aware that I didn't know how to row the boat. They push the boat into the middle of the Mekong River. 
It took me about half an hour to an hour to row the boat back to the bank. <laughs> I just tried to, my brain tried, tried very hard to row the boat back to the bank, and after I pulled the boat up a few kilometers from, <laughs> from the downstream, I had to pull the boat back to. <laughs> and from then, I tried very hard during my recess time. I didn't dare to go to have a restaurant. I learned to row the boat by myself until I, 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 I and still I, be, I, I became good at it. SK Media.